Well, it's almost scary just turning on a weather map anymore. In 24 hours, things change rad radically. This was uh, two days ago. A uh, system rolling into California. looked like it was going to bring rain. We had some waves moving through. This is where the jet stream split. Uh, we showed you now a clockwise rotation, which is, they call it an anti-cyclone. We showed you water coming up from the lower left. It was supposed to be going from right to left. We showed you a storm that way off to the left on the edge of your screen that started up in the Gulf of Alaska. It traversed right to left. And this was two days ago. Um, at the right-hand side of the screen, there was a very fast-spinning, low-pressure system that took a right-hand turn and went down to Baja and parked itself down there. Uh, very rapid rotation. Um, so the next day we we went down and a actually this is the same day we went down and just looked at the southern Hawaiian belt and we saw no water on the equ equator. Um, we took a close up of that system that was parked down there in Baja you can see it right there you can see the water come through California so fast and and it how, how it dried out as it hit the coast and did not drop any water and if it did it was moving so fast you couldn't do anything about it so we go over and look in the Caribbean two days ago you see a system right underneath Texas in the Gulf, uh, it was spinning uh, very fast, counterclockwise, low pressure. You see the whole system of the, the hurricane, the remnants circling back around into the Gulf of Mexico. Um, the whole, not the whole system, but like 50% of that hurricane is swinging back around clockwise. But that low pressure system right there, I was keeping an eye on it because it was spinning very rapidly. And and you can see the other low pressure over in Baja and we went ahead and zoomed in to get a close glimpse of that counterclockwise rotation um, and we couldn't find it a day later it was gone all of a sudden a day later the the jet stream thinned out, at least that which was going to hit California, thinned out, roped out. The system way off to the left kind of broke down and kind of went a little south. Uh, and we, again, we noticed that the equatorial belt just south of Hawaii has clouds, but it's devoid of moisture. This measures moisture at cloud top, and we don't see any. But we do see south of Baja. Um, um, tropical depression there or a, a, a bunch of water so then we go to day three and we notice this wave coming through Texas down into Mexico we could not really rapidly see the, all of a sudden that counterclockwise rotation we had no idea where it went but we see these waves coming through that were going against everything it was going against the flow, and it's artificial. Um, the area off in South Texas, Mexico border, um, you'll see there, there'll be a, a wave coming through that way as well. The whole flow of that jet stream through Texas was up towards the north. There was nothing coming due south, and these waves are rolling. They're rolling, and there's more than one. They're hard to see on some of the um, wavelengths, but this shows, uh, shows it pretty well, that wave coming through the Gulf of Mexico. It actually goes through M Mexico itself and appears to be originating from Texas. And we just went down to check the wavelength. Uh, make sure that we weren't missing something. You see along the border, you see some dark spots. You might call those hot spots, but I, it's too subjective for me. So we go up and look in Texas to see if we can see where these waves are originating from. And they're really hard to see, but 
uh, off to the left you can see the wave actually going into Mexico. You can see uh, portions of that cloud layer actually going in the wrong direction. And we're going to come back to that. That storm, that low pressure system that had turned south and parked off of Baja, all of a sudden decided to go backwards and northward and leave like a little mushroom cloud or a question mark right there. Uh, the counterclockwise rotation by Hawaii also going south, losing its structure. But again, you see that southern Hawaiian belt, is supposed to, the whole th system is supposed to be going right to left. That's what the trade winds do down there, right to left. Um, but you see them going north sometimes. So we're looking for that counterclockwise rotation that got to California coast and took a right-hand turn. And there it is off to the left. So this saying started in the Gulf of Alaska, went straight for California, took a right-hand turn, parked for a day in Baja, and now is headed back out to sea. It's a completely dry system. It makes a question mark with its counterclockwise rotation. It looks like a apostrophe or a, a, a question mark. But that's no doubt what we were looking at. So that thing has almost made a complete circle. It needs to circle back up to the jet stream. And it, that low pressure system would have made a complete circle down the coast. You know, first it starts in the Gulf of Alaska, due west, goes due south, parks. And again, when we put it on cloud top moisture, that's what this measures, you can see the whole belt south of Hawaii is devoid of moisture. That's a little strange because there's always been moisture there all my life. And with record warm oceans, you got to wonder if all these vortexes just didn't draw it up. Now here's a close-up of that Texas wave. You can see down at the bottom of your screen that blob of white going in the wrong direction. That's a telltale hint of the um, one of the boundaries of that wave. That wave ends up and extends all the way into Mexico. But you can see it definitely going against the grain. Amazing, huh? And nothing's real obvious here. There, there is a wave coming through, but we're too far out um, to see it. But notice the left-hand side of Mexico. There's something throwing water up into the Gulf of California. It's like spraying a fire hydrant. And we saw it on the other close-up, but we were looking at that wave that was going in the wrong direction. But that's that counterclockwise system that we couldn't find. It had migrated because it was so dry, we couldn't see it. But it had migrated back over to the southern tip of Baja and is now slinging moisture up towards the Gulf of California, up towards the southern Arizona border, and up into Texas. Again, Look at the right-hand side of your screen. That all that moisture from the hurricane, Hurricane Delta, some of it went north. The the southern half is circling back around and headed back towards the Gulf. If it reforms a new system, it will be a first. So I'm not turning off my screensaver. I'm just going to bounce from satellite to satellite. But this is... We're trying to visualize that wave coming through. We're trying to see where exactly it originated from. And the best we could get is, is South Central Texas. And that wavelength, it's hard to see. There's so much smoke. This isn't today. This is yesterday again. This, you can see the wave coming in. This is a perfect view of the fire extinguisher like uh, spray going up into the Gulf of California. But this visualizes that wave really well.
So this is today. And you can see the, uh, the remnants of that wave coming down here. And you can see it in the Gulf of Mexico now. In between Florida and the, the coast of the coast of Mexico. You can see remnants of it on this image, but look off to the left, left central. There's that counterclockwise system that we lost the day ago. It's That's what's slinging water up like a fire hydrant. That is the eastern edge of that, catching the water from the Gulf and slinging it directly north and northeast. It catches the jet stream, or what you can claim to be the jet stream, and but it's it's pretty obvious what's happening there. We're we're zooming in now to try to see uh, up there at the top of the screen if we could see the waves. They are visible, coming down. There, they it almost looks like um, a mirage wave. What you see when it's really hot on the road, and we'll have a better image of it here. We're going to switch to the, a cloud top layer and you'll be able to see those waves coming through. They're not coming down through Mexico anymore. They're coming down mainly through the Gulf. That area where it did come down though yesterday is kind of devoid of clouds. It kind of cleared out that area. So let's go to a different... This is mid-level. Oh, no, what we're doing now is going into Texas to try to see if we can see where it's emanating from. And as we put it in motion, the wave, you can see it still like a mirage coming down through the gulf. There's movement at the bottom of your screen. You can barely see it. It's not the best, but you're going to see, you're going to see that wave right at the bottom of your screen. You're going to see it even better here when I get the next image. But my cursor is along the bottom of that wave and the edge of the wave. And again, nothing's visualized over there in Mexico anymore, just the Gulf of Mexico. So this this is so hampered by chemtrails and smoke, and it's hard to define. So finally, we get to the instrument that's going to show you this wave the best. And you can see that wall of water right there going southward, that little puff is going south and that defines the edge of the wave um isn't that amazing that it, that is not a true weather phenomenon uh everything has a flow everything conforms to physics we saw this anomaly off to the left off off in mexico now we see the anomaly in the gulf of mexico when we pull out it's still visible you can see you can see that white white cloud moving south and if you look close enough you can see the whole front of the wave extends across the gulf and we don't see a whole lot going on on the mainland is that something else or what